there's no need to get tense. Relax, relax, condense. Subscribe, baby, subscribe. The colorful bands on a resistor aren't for decoration, they're for identification. The first band on this 18-ohm resistor is brown. According to the chart, that represents a 1. The second band is gray, which represents an 8. Notice that the third band doesn't point to the third column, but instead to the multiplier column. That's because when resistors have only 4 bands instead of 5, the third is always the multiplier. Our multiplier band is black, which represents times 1 ohm, validating that this is an 18 ohms resistor. The final band is gold, which means this resistor is married. Actually, it represents a plus or minus 5% tolerance, so the resistor promises not to stray beyond plus or minus 5% of 18 ohms. In addition to ohms, resistors are sized by watts. As we've learned, watts equals volts times amps. Watts also equals heat. Because as electricity flows through a resistor, heat is always generated. If wattage is low, heat is low. If wattage is high, heat is high. Resistors are available in many wattage ratings, and it's important to choose the right one. Or there could be problems. Our radio has just one 120 volt power source, but requires many different voltages throughout its circuit. Thanks to resistors, which we've learned reduce voltage, this is easily accomplished. Most resistors age well, providing years of service. In fact, it's not uncommon that all the resistors in an antique radio will check out fine. Some types of resistors are notoriously unreliable, though, so it's important to test them. This is done with an ohm meter. Here I'm testing our 18 ohm resistor with my meter, 17.6 ohms, well within the 5% tolerance. After testing the resistors in our old Emerson, I found that two were bad. This one measured 37,000 ohms, but was supposed to be 30,000. And this one was supposed to be 2 mega ohms, but measured 2.5. The old resistor is on top, and the modern replacement is below. On the next video, we'll learn about alternating and direct current, and something called rectification. To stay updated, please subscribe and click the bell. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.